pretty good and then you don't need to be doing like ratcheting things you just pull it and stay, and, stay and it doesn't go oh, oh beautiful so beautiful i will i will start with the machine here on top okay and okay. right there i already cut the hole well okay. you can go a little back if you want there you go I actually never used this before. Fantastic.
be meaning to take a moment to talk about mental health just because I feel it is still a taboo topic, especially around men. You need to keep a facade of being strong and brave and feelings and emotions are rarely open for discussion. Although I believe there are many ways to keep yourself mentally healthy, like exercising every day, eating healthy, or staying focused on the present moment. Sometimes you need a push of a professional and there is really nothing wrong about it. I have seen many friends going through hard times thrive after following my advice of seeking professional help. Therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way and help you achieve your best life. That's why I'm very excited about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible because finding a good therapist can be very hard, especially when you are limited to the options that you have in around your area. They make finding your therapist easier it's online and it's remote. By filling out a few questions, it matches you with a professional therapist. It's very easy to sign up and get started. There is a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash modernhousecabin. Clicking in that link gives you 10% off on your first month of BetterHelp, so you can connect with a therapist and see if it works for you. Also, if you really don't fit with one therapist, it's very easy to switch to a different one and there is no cost associated to it. Seeing friends really struggle and in a matter of weeks change their perspective about their own life and unlock their true potential has been very rewarding to me. Our mind is our most powerful muscle and we need to really take care of it. So if you are struggling, consider therapy with BetterHelp. Click in the link in the description box or go to betterhelp.com slash modernhousecabin. Thank you again BetterHelp for supporting this project and this channel. Put it there already, huh? Hey, hey, no, 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 this side, this side first. Oh, good. Because if not, then it's super complicated to keep it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. This pipe over here is just to release all the water that might go inside this hole but just in case any water goes in uh, it can release out so we don't fill this hole with water and then you know have a pool in our house that's not good right yeah. I mean it could be nice <laughs> if, if intended <laughs>
said here, right? right. Pepe, yes, Pepe draw the line. Ah, yeah, right. Perfect. Perfect. The length this, so we can just put it, you know, against it. Yeah. Yes. And this is. You're hiding behind the hiding behind the vegetables. That's a, that's what we pay when people come to help. <laughs> you may not make money, but you get vegetables. That's a good reward. Celebrity leaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come back. You guys, I come back very soon. Come back for more veggies. <laughs> bye bye. bye. All right, guys. It's been an epic two days of work with Nico. He's one of our viewers and uh, we met him and his fiance in Lisbon when I ran the half marathon. 
back in March. We became friends after after that day, and uh, they have been viewers of our channel since the beginning. So you know, I've made it uh, extra special for us and for them, I guess. He wanted to come and help us, and help he did. In these two days, we we did so much progress. It's just fantastic. I mean, we started insulating and finished insulating all the great beans so all the great beans are already uh, just waiting for for the concrete pretty much because everything is almost done we just need to put plastic and then the river and today he helped us cover the big trench that we had where the living room is going to be it's gonna be a sunken living room so we needed to do you know somehow a way to to bring the water out in case that any water goes in which i don't think it will because we're gonna be waterproofing the whole thing but just in case i wanted to have some sort of a drainage system for the water to go out. He already left, a bit sad about it. Um, so Nico, we, we wait for you here again, um, if you want to come. And uh, he also makes these hats. This is his brand, super nice, very good quality, and uh, I just been loving it. He brought me one. He also makes t-shirts and um, some cool circular wooden pizza boards. I will leave the link of his stuff in, in this video. We're very grateful for him to come. I think tomorrow I'm going to finish up insulating this last part because we were missing some wood in order to keep the gravel inside the trench. I needed another portion of wood that I didn't have so I ordered it and it's arriving actually now. So once I have that, I will put a bit of gravel and then put the insulation that we have already cut here. He cut it for us before leaving and everything is going to be done for the next step, which is putting the plastic all around the trenches where the great beans are going to be because we want the great bean, the concrete of the great bean to be actually insulated in terms of thermal insulation. That's why we are using the XPS and then we want a vapor barrier in between the concrete and the exterior. That's going to be the black plastic that we're going to put. It's a thick plastic. I'm going to leave the thickness here because I don't remember exactly what it is. Now we just need to wrap around the whole perimeter and then uh, start with the river. Um, I need to order the, the rivers. I think I'm going to try to do that tomorrow morning before I start working. And in the meantime, while, while the order comes, we do the plastic. I'm not so sure if I'm going to show that in this video at this point. So I guess if the video continues after this, it means that we're still working in this video.
it's been like three weeks without filming. Mainly I have been working on finishing all the forms and putting all the insulation down because there were a few sections that weren't finished because I was missing some material. But I didn't film it just because it was more of the same work, you know. After that I got ready to order the rebar. I was planning to order the rebar in loose pieces, just the rebar itself in six meters pieces. I wanted the rings to come already pre-made, you know, because it's a lot of work to do it and it's a very basic thing for a rebar manufacturer. You order the rebar pieces and then you order the rings in a standard size pieces. But then in Portugal, everywhere that we ask uh, for quotes, they didn't want to bend the rebars or they didn't have it and they were not looking forward to do it. So that got me thinking and then I spoke with my brother and he told me, Pepe, in Spain, I, I do a smaller jobs than this. They manufacture the cage itself and deliver it to you. So you just need to slide it in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to save you like a month or a month and a half of work. I spoke with two companies in Spain and I decided to go with one because I, I could already feel that they were going to be on the same page. I designed the cages in like half a day in the computer and then I sent him the plan. He got me a, a good price, a very good price. In comparison with uh, the prices I was getting in Portugal, it was the same price that I was getting from the supplier in Portugal that was supplying me the loose pieces, but in this case the cages come already pre-made and assembled. He actually welds them, so basically all the rings are welded at 30 centimeters apart. That's what the engineer required in our case. And then the last two rings on, on both ends are loose, so we can you know, slide them in and out and, and connect the cages in between them. I'm extremely, extremely, extremely happy with the, the job that he did. Uh, he was super nice actually, he came with his son and they were super impressed by, by the form work. And I'm um, just good people. This is not a sponsor, uh, not at all, we paid full price. But he's just, he's just a legend. So if you are in the area and you need this kind of job, I would recommend Jose Antonio from Hierros Olivenza because he did a great job. He's been a blessing, man because now I just need to go with Eugenia and slide the cages inside. The job is done, pretty much. Connect them. We're ready for concrete. Well, and we need to do a couple of things more, but uh, these L's are going to be connecting each corner. And that's a proper way to do it. So once the concrete sets, everything is connected inside. And as you can see, there are a lot of cages. We have a few here and we also have on that side. This is going to be a little bit heavy for us to put in there alone. He and his son offered to help us to put it, but um, unfortunately we didn't put the plastic yet. So we could have, you know, installed this guy inside with their help. It's always nice to have a couple of extra hands. By the way, we installed a tent which hasn't flown away yet, but um, it's about to, so we can have some material there not exposed under the sun all day long. And also for us to work in there, it's been, it's been a blessing in these last two weeks. But as you can see, it's a lot of wind in this area. And um, it's a struggling to stay there. All the cages come labeled already. So for example, this is the R5. And uh, we know that this one, if we go to the plan, R5 is this guy. This is the plan that I drew for him. And the R5 is 3 meters 62 and it goes here and with this plan he was able to manufacture all the cages this has saved us like I would say easily a month and a half of work just bending all these things one by one I think there were 450 rings that I would, I would have need to do by hand this is major progress As we're getting ready for the concrete slab, we needed a couple of tools extra that we didn't order last time. This time we got two specific floats, they are magnesium. Before we only had a steel, like this one, this is actually a new one. We have one exactly the same brand and exactly the same model, but um, since we're going to be two people, Eugene and I, uh, we wanted to have 
double tools for the jobs. The magnesium float, you use it when the concrete is right when you pour it, when it's still super wet. The reason behind it is because with the magnesium one, you don't close the surface, so uh, the water can keep going up. If you actually use a steel one, you have the risk of closing the surface and then water gets trapped inside. At some point it will break the concrete. This one is from Colotool. It's a brand that we have been using in the past. You already know them. And the same owners of this brand, Colotool, is called Nogosa. And Nogosa, besides making their own tools, they're also the exclusive representatives and dealers of Marshalltown USA in Spain and Portugal. So if you want to get any of the Marshalltown tools, which are top notch, in Spain or Portugal, these are the people that you need to reach out to. And as you can see, the bottom of the float is not straight, it's not flat, it has some bevel. This one is completely flat, but this one isn't. And these are just the only three hand tools that we needed to, to complete all, all the tools that you could ever need to build a concrete slab. I know some of you say there is a lot of money in tools, and I agree. Um, you need to spend money in tools if you want to build stuff you know, by yourself, but it will be much more expensive to hire someone to do it. And also, once we finish this concrete slab, we have all the tools necessary to build another one for the same cost, because we already paid for the tools. Um, if you pay someone to do it, then you just have one concrete slab and no opportunity to do a second one, unless you pay again. Concrete slabs are not an easy task to do, so good professionals are really worth the price that they are, you pay for them. Unfortunately, here in our area, it's very hard to find someone, so we have no other option than to be brave enough to, to do it. What the? Get in the box. You need to get in the, in the box. Stay, stay, stay. We're installing this plastic inside the form. This plastic works as a vapor barrier. So I'm hoping that with the plastic, we do two things. We remove the water, any capillarity water that will go up from the foundation. And also we can avoid the concrete to stick to the wood.
basically you need to use spacers to leave a space of concrete around the river which protects the river from being exposed to the elements usually you leave three four centimeters on the sides and then five seven depending on what type of foundation you are doing at the bottom in our case we're leaving five all around it this layer of concrete around the river will protect it from rusting if your river rusts inside your concrete it's a big issue basically because once the river rusts it will expand it will be a little bit bigger breaking the concrete around it even more allowing more water and humidity to get in the space inside the concrete rusting more river and so on and so forth so having a thick layer of concrete around the river avoids this to happen uh, earlier so in this case it will be like rated for like 50 years or so um, you can do less now I just slided this guy in and as you can see these rings were loose on, on that one it came already with the last three rings loose the, I push them all to the left, I slide that one in and now I just need to slide the rings all the way one here and one in the middle For the corners, we are connecting them with L's like this, one meter by one meter, and we're putting four on each corner, so each river is connected to the one perpendicular to it. And uh, I'm sliding it now before installing the next one, because it's gonna be easier that way. These two that I just placed will connect the two bottom rivers of this cage to the perpendicular one at the bottom and then these other two connect the top river
All right, so basically what I'm gonna try to show you here is how you connect two cages together. As you could see in the in the previous clip, I don't know if it's gonna be exactly the previous one, but uh, in a previous clip, we slided the last cage on this line. The cage that was here had 75 centimeters of rebar sticking out, and the next cage that we installed had these guys loose for the last 80 centimeters. You can see there are two rebars here. So one rebar comes from the, in the cage on the left and the other rebar comes from the cage on the right. What I need to do now is to move these cages that are loose to where they belong, which is 30 centimeters apart, evenly spaced. And after that, connect all the overlapping together. So when the concrete sets, these two rebars that are overlapping, they will pretty much be connected to each other and they won't be able to move. It will act like a continuous long rebar. because it's very far away from here. This might hurt, but uh, everything for you guys. This one.
these guys I think are meant to be put on the sides so you put it on the side and then you leave them uh, which we are gonna use because it's five centimeters all around it so they work I was planning to use them also at the bottom and then at the moment that I put for like this for example for this cage will be fine but when we were putting the long ones this guy was compressing like this it was squeezing and and the moment that you squeeze it, you know, it's not longer five centimeters. I placed an order right away that, that night. But this type of spacers, there's no way to compress this guy. And I'm just using this, this new one at the bottom and the circular ones on the sides. I placed two vertical ones on the bottom here and then two on the sides of the circular ones. So this cage is five centimeter from here five centimeters from here and five centimeters from the bottom. Now I need to do that everywhere. While I connect all the cages, Eugenia is installing the plastic in the next form. She's also in charge of removing these pieces, but sometimes the screws have gone bad from dropping gravel above it and, and sand, so you cannot unscrew it. Move. Show them your move. I'm going to safari tonight. That's why I'm wearing this hat. It's my safari hat. <laughs> <laughs> 